actually, this is really cute. Let me let you in on a secret. As you can see, ends are not woven in. Hey cuties, welcome back to my channel. Hi, hello, if you are new. My name is Nicole and I like to crochet and sometimes I knit, sometimes. First of all, please ignore the pimple patch. I've been fighting with this pimple for like two weeks now. I'm made fine with today's video because today I'm going to be trying on everything that I've made in 2024. I'm not going to be really styling it, that's why I'm wearing a basic outfit, but I'm going to try it on. And I'm also going to try to do it in chronological order, I'm not quite sure how chronological the order will end up being. I have like a crochet list of my notion and I, I note down when I start and finish things, so I'm going to try my best for it to be in chronological order. And almost everything here has a video where I made it, so if, if there is a video, I'll mention it and it'll all be linked in the description below if you're interested. Otherwise, I have an Instagram if you want to see how I end up making things and like the process a little bit because I do post my process and stuff on my Instagram, so follow my Instagram as well if you want. Let's get started. First thing I made this year, cheating a little bit, actually made the actual sleeves on my knitting machine last year. But I feel like it still counts as something I made this year because I didn't add the chains until this year. So I feel like it counts. I do actually quite like this. I haven't worn it in a while, but when I did make it, I used to wear it like a lot. This is it on. Obviously it doesn't look good with this outfit. I like the way the sleeves are big, but we've got some like loose threads. But it's cute. I like it. I haven't worn it in a while though, so I might, I might give it another go. Okay, the next thing that I made in 2024 is this sunflower vest. It's inside out right now. As you can see, the ends were not weaved in. This is also cheating. These grand squares were made last year, but the full story is that I actually made these grand squares and turned them into a pair of shorts. I didn't really like the shorts. I didn't wear them that much, so I unraveled the shorts this year and remade them into this vest so i think it counts i also might end up taking these butterfly clips out they make it annoying to try things on actually i'm just gonna take them out now this is the vest okay ignoring all the ends that are just so exposed right now super cute the reason i don't wear it is because i didn't weave in the end so they just poke out and it's annoying but I'm like never gonna leave these ends in. I'm so sorry, but I'm just, I'm never gonna do that. But this is cute. Like I need to start wearing it more. I might just cut the ends and not weave them in properly. So also my mirror's over there. So if I'm looking over there, it's cause that's where my mirror is. Yeah, I actually have a video of me making this on my channel if you're interested. So then I went through a cat ear beanie phase and just made a bunch of cat ear beanies. First one I made, was this one. I made it with recycled cotton yarn. I don't like this one. I think I made it too wide and also I think making it with cotton was a bad idea. I think cat ear beanies should be made out of acrylic or something sturdier so the ears actually stand up. But I learned my lesson and I made more cat ear beanies. This one I think I made too small, too like skinny and I made it with double crochet so it's just like it's too expensive. Bows. This one's not bad. This one's not bad. Next cat ear beanie that I made was this one. This one I tried to see if I could make the ears more pronounced by making the two wide at the top and then decreasing. I forget actually how it looked on my head. Yeah, actually this one's pretty cute. This one's pretty cute. I won't lie. I actually quite like this one. And I actually like how big the ears are. I think it's really cute. I like this one. Okay. Moving on, after the cat ear beanies, I wanted like an easy project. I mean, the cat ear beanies are an easy project. I wanted more easy projects that weren't cat ear beanies, so I decided to make grain sweat gloves, and also I wanted to use up some scrap brown. Like I had this yarn that had been sitting for years and years and years. I decided to make these little hand warmers. I don't actually like them. I think the, uh, the colors are ugly. But it was fun to make. I, I used it. I used no um, pattern or anything. Kind of ugly, but whatever. They're also kind of like bulky, kind of big. But I guess maybe that's the point. I just don't like the colors. I don't wear these colors very much. Moving on. When I hit 500 subscribers, I went shopping for yarn. This is the yarn that I got. And then like a month later, I turned that yarn into a vest, which is this vest. This is my 500 subscriber heart vest. I love this vest so much. Ready? inverted oh my gosh i know i already have one other inverted vest that i made so i wanted to make more and i want to keep making more i love making inverted vests they're so versatile and also it's like fun to change colors i don't know but i like it i think it's really fun you can tie it up as much as you want on the side initially i just had it tied up at the bottom here so this part would be a little more open and this part is open it just makes it so much more versatile is what i'm saying like I, when i want it to fit like kind of loose over a dress maybe then it just fits loose over a dress i just love this vest so much and i love the yarn it's like my but it's the first time that i used like real 
nice yarn that I got not from Spotlight but from like an actual yarn store and it feels so nice. I made a video about this making this one so you can go check out the video but yeah I love this vest. Next thing I made was actually on my knitting machine. I don't have the center knitting machine I have some other one. Also a video for this one. Let's try it on. As you can see ends not woven in. My ends will never be woven in. As you can see, it's very cropped, which is the main reason I don't wear it very much. It's just very cropped. And also, I haven't woven the ends in it. I probably never will. I think it's cute. I just think it's very cropped, so I don't wear it. And I don't wear these colours very much at all. I just like the yarn in the cake. I don't know. I like this one, but I'll probably never wear it ever again. Next thing that I made was this Gorgina Hexagon Cardigan. I think it's so cute. I did make a video about this one as well. I love this. It's probably my most worn piece of the year. I wear it all the time. I love how big it is. Usually a lot of my things that I make are cropped, as you can see, because I'm lazy and I don't want to make it long. This is the first time I made something full length and I really actually like it being full length. I need to make more full length things. This is the Hexagon Cardigan on and it's so cute, right? Like it's so cute i love how big the sleeves are i love the the pink border they did i love the tie because i wear these colors all the time like i love pink and purple if you couldn't tell i just love it so much next thing that i made was another cardigan this one's a cropped cardigan i started on a trip to byron let me just show you this is my byron cardigan and it's called the byron cardigan because i started it on a trip to byron i love this cardigan it's ribbed and it's got these like fluffy details on the side i'll try it on for you this is the byron cardigan on it's so cute i love these and when i posted it on my instagram people also like these this one specifically like i posted a bunch of my creations but people like specifically pointed out the byron cardigan i love the little bow okay the bow is a little f up at the moment um but i'm really slack to retie it so i'm not gonna tie it but usually it's in a cuter bow next thing i made in the same video that i finished this cardigan off i made oh i finished off another cardigan that i started last year so i'm cheating again this is my next cardigan doesn't have a name yet not quite sure what i'll call it as you can see ends are not woven in so i haven't worn her out yet really because i keep forgetting i keep wanting to wear her out and then i realize the ends are woven in and then i'm like oh, i can't be bothered so i know it within the ends so cycle this is that card again i think it's really cute but i made all the pieces last year i only joined them up this year so there's a difference in how i crochet and how oh, my technique and my my skill level from last year to this year if i remade this it would be a lot different it's cute but like as you can see this this sleeve here is just so big well this one's like not that big like i tapered it is that the word i tapered it in and then add these ruffles i really like these ruffles these are so cute and on the borders as well i did run out of yarn of this one when i was doing the ruffles so this side is a little less a little less ruffled than this side <laughs> i think that's kind of it with like jumpers and sweaters and things i think the next few things are like random accessories okay this is kind of an accessory it's not really count as a wearable no question but it's like this little phone holder i'll put my lip gloss in there if you notice, these squares are left over from when I turned those shorts into my vest. I just wanted to use them up, so I turned them into this cute little phone holder. Actually, this is really cute. It's just not the season. It's just not the season. It's like winter right now. This is really cute, actually. Wait a minute. This is really cute. Like, all you have to do is, like, put your phone in there, your keys in there, your lip gloss in there, and you're ready. You're ready for the day. You could also probably use this as a water bottle holder. Wait, this is cute. I need to, I need to make another one of these. This is really cute. What's next? Oh, I wanted to make a bandana. This leftover yarn was from my hexagon cardigan, and I wanted to use it up, so I decided to make this cute little bandana. It was my first time ever making a bandana. I didn't follow the pattern, I just wanted to see if I could figure it out. Short story, I couldn't figure it out. But I think if I restart now, I, I could figure it out. I know what to do now. I couldn't figure out how to make it straight. In the end, I did though. Like, I figured it out eventually, but at the side, I didn't, so kind of like, I don't know if you can tell. But yeah, no, I like it. It's a bit small as well because I ran out of this yarn because this was just scrap yarn. It's just me experimenting. I like the white little border. I like the frills that I did. Don't think I look good in bandanas. Or I think this, I did run out of yarn. If I could have, I would have made this a bit bigger. This is it. This is the back. I actually don't know what it looks like on the back, so this is... You're, the, you're seeing it for the first time. You're seeing it with me. 
it was all good let me know next thing that i made was my birthday top let me let you in on a secret i did not end up wearing this on my birthday my birthday was two days ago i'm not gonna try this on i'm so sorry i'd have to take everything off for me to try this on it's just like there and then it ties up at the back and then it's got these little things here that i put on my arm this little decoration completely free-handed it is cute and then it's got this like these ruffles at the bottom cute right yeah it would be cute trust me it's a cute top i look ridiculous oh my god anyway this is uh this is my birthday top i would try it on but i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna do that i saw your photo this is what it looks like it looks cute right doesn't look cute when it's actually on yeah yeah it's also in a video if you want to see me make it it's in a video the most recent things that i made i made us both a beanie i made myself a cat ear beanie in purple and then she got like a non beanie it was my first time making a beanie it was kind of ugly i also made us matching hand warmers so cute i love this little contrasting color detail and then i made us scarves on the knitting machine she has basically the exact same things in green i really like this this purple ensemble i think it's so cute oh my god cute okay that is everything that i've made so far in 2021 i mean i've made a couple other things but these are all the wearables that i've made wearables and accessories i hope you enjoyed this video i'm really excited to make more things in the next half of the year i've already got ideas actually i lie no i don't no i don't i've been like so busy with like uni work travel that like my brain right now is so empty so fried now that i'm back though i'm hopefully going to get the juices flowing i need to start making start thinking about like summer warm weather things because right now i have been making a lot of cardigans jumpers scars like cold weather things and I'm admittedly kind of over it i kind of want to be making like warm weather stuff right now as you saw one of the most recent things that i made my birthday top was a summer kind of but i still also at the end of the day love making cardigans and jumpers so i don't know i just like the talk if you want to see what i end up making for the next half of the year subscribe to my channel or follow my instagram i post everything on my instagram probably thank you for watching and i'll see you guys around